Hey, thank you very much, Henderson Lion cheerleaders. Now, let's talk about the Dival Lumberjacks. They had a hard time getting out of the gate in 2020, dropping their first three ball games while also having a bout with COVID-19. But they have regrouped. Undefeated in district play coming into tonight with an opportunity to claim their second consecutive outright league crown. Jacks hosting the team on their heels. Cold Spring Oakhurst and Patrick Cunningham joins us live from DP, Texas. Now, Patrick, Dival, I think, was not quite able to get it done, correct? Well, Mike, tonight it was a defensive battle back and forth throughout as both teams were trying to lock up that number one seed for the Division 3A D1 playoffs. Let's get to those highlights. Die ball undefeated in district already with a share of the title, but looking to lock it up outright. First drive of the game for die ball. It is fourth and goal. Quarterback Ray Ariano fires for the end zone, but it is broken up by Thomas Jackson for the Trojans. A big goal line stand. Next drive for Cold Spring. QB Duke Lozenek rolls out to his right, but the pass is intercepted by senior Jose Garcia. A big moment on senior night. However, the Lumberjacks would not score. Now let's get to the second quarter for Cold Spring. They really needed a spark, and they pull out of their hat a double reverse pass that is fired from Lozenek down to Contavious Parker Harden at the goal line. The Trojans had just negative 17 yards of offense before that play. Couple plays later, a handoff to Tavarius Chambers finally gives us our first points of the night that made it seven to nothing cold spring now less than two minutes before the half die ball finally breaks through with james johnson busting one up the middle 60 yards practically untouched the extra point would be no good and it was seven to six at the half now let's check that final score and mike you are right they were not able to get it done tonight cold spring holds on for a 20 to 12 victory over die ball again die ball does get a share of that district title but they will have the number two seed heading into the playoffs next week. Coming up at 11, we will speak to a dejected but still optimistic Coach Morrison, and we'll have the highlights for you still at 11 on Fox 51. Mike, back to you. Hey.